Have you ever made fun of someone by saying they can't walk and chew gum at the same time? Well, maybe that person is from Singapore. In Singapore, it's illegal to chew gum. But you don't have to travel far to find weird and bizarre laws. In Alaska, it is illegal to view a moose from an airplane. In Connecticut, it's illegal for a barber to hum a tune whilst cutting your hair. In Florida, it's illegal to be, well, intimate with a porcupine. Although we're not sure how that's even logistically possible. In Indiana, you may not catch a fish with your bare hands. In Maryland, it is prohibited to curse while on the highway, which if you've ever driven through Baltimore, you know it's not enforced. In Montana, you cannot pretend to abuse an animal in front of a child. But like, wait, is this a problem in Montana? The most ironic law comes from New York, where it's illegal to congregate in public with two or more people while each wearing a mask or any face covering which disguises your identity. We all know New York had one of the strictest mask mandates during COVID, so the law forced you to break the law. These silly laws are often called blue laws. They are outdated laws that often stem from a stricter religious time in our country, when many activities were particularly restricted on Sundays or the Sabbath. While these laws may still technically be on the books, they are not actually enforced. Then there are some bizarre laws that should be enforced but need not be said. For example, in Rhode Island, it is illegal to bite off another's limb. I'm no lawyer, but I think this law should be covered by broader laws of assault. Or in Oregon, it's illegal to place a container filled with human fecal matter on the side of any highway. Littering is already against the law, but I guess they needed to be more specific. Now, let's get to Missouri, which seems to have an exceptionally large amount of these blue laws. Missouri became a state in 1821, and it wasted no time in creating bizarre laws. Some of these laws only apply to specific towns or jurisdictions, while others are statewide. Number 10 is about alcohol. If anyone under 21 takes out household trash and there is even a single, empty alcoholic beverage container, they can be charged with illegal possession of alcohol. As weird as this may be, it's one of the least weird on this list. At least we can see where it's coming from given that it's illegal to drink under 21. You guys, it's the cops! But taking out the trash? What if their parents had a wild party the night before and now they need their kids to help with the household chores? Or forget even a wild party. Maybe their parents had some guests over for wine and charcuterie and out of the goodness of their heart, their 17-year-old cleans up the next morning. Well, guess they'll just need to come up with some bail money. Number nine is to not worry squirrels. That's right, worrying squirrels. It's hard to find the origin of this law and why it was ever put on the books, but here we are. The irony is that Missouri has a hunting season open to squirrels. Another Missouri law states that squirrels may be taken from the fourth Saturday in May through February 15th. Daily limit, 10 squirrels. Possession limit, 20 squirrels. So while for most of the year you can shoot and kill squirrels, you must also make sure you are not worrying them in the process. Number eight is pretty bad for women. In the city of St. Louis, it is illegal for an on-duty firefighter to rescue a woman who is nude or even wearing a nightgown, which is considered not fully clothed. This law likely harkens back to a more religious time, when it would be inappropriate for a male to see a nude or partially clad woman. While this law may technically still be on the books, it is not enforced or, thankfully, even practiced. In fact, there are hundreds of instances of firefighters rescuing women from house fires in the evening when they are only in pajamas. In fact, a naked woman was rescued from her home by a St. Louis firefighter who chose to ignore the law and opt to save a life. Luckily for the women of St. Louis, people value life over modesty these days. Number seven is the killing of Mormons. That's right, in Missouri, it was perfectly legal to kill a Mormon until 1976. This likely stemmed from the 1838 Mormon War, which was a conflict between Mormons and non-Mormons in Missouri from August to November of 1838. Though Mormons are typically associated with Utah, Joseph Smith founded Mormonism in New York and spread it across the country, and Missouri held a special place in Smith's preaching. He planned Missouri to be the new Zion, and even believed that's where the second coming of Christ would take place. To be fair, it hasn't happened yet, so he could still be right. The influx of missionaries wasn't taken too kindly by the original Missouri frontiersmen and women, and violence broke out. Missouri legislators sided with the non-Mormons, and thus, until 1976, it was open season on Mormons. 
Thank God for Utah. Number six is for milkmen. It is illegal for milkmen to run. Most people don't get their milk delivered anymore, but in some rural areas, it is still more practical to have milk delivered rather than driving long distances to a grocery store. The law may be more practical than criminal, as glass bottles are likely to break. But do we really need a law to point out the obvious? Why not just have a law that says your milk must be delivered in unbroken bottles, or the milkman will replace them? Who knows? All we know is that if you're still delivering milk in the year 2024, then walk, don't run. I do wonder if this extends to Instacart and DoorDash when they're delivering milk in Missouri. Hmm. Number five is the bachelor tax. If you think you're saving money by remaining single and being free of the burden of a wife and kids, the government of Missouri will make sure you still pay. This law was enacted in 1820, a year before it even became a state. Single men between the ages of 21 and 50 years old had to pay a $1 poll tax. Adjusted for inflation, that's $26.70 in today's dollars. Despite sensational and far more entertaining claims that it remains state law today, the General Assembly repealed the bachelor tax on January 12, 1822. But that didn't mean the random tax just went away. It was just replaced with a poll tax of 50 cents on all men aged 21 to 65, or roughly $13 in today's cash. My single friends complain that they already pay more in taxes than married couples with the current tax system, and I tend to agree. Number four is a much more controversial law coming out of Shawnee, a southern Missouri town which bans the renting of an apartment to four or more unrelated people. So, no frat houses in Shawnee. This law, which may seem like an antiquated way of keeping unmarried people from shacking up with other non-married couples, but the law has drawn accusations of classism, racism, and a callous disregard for the people struggling to afford homes and apartments in Johnson County. While there may be some merit for other people in the neighborhood not wanting a house full of people next door, the criticisms are still valid in terms of hurting those who can only afford roommates. Number three is that it's illegal to drive around with an uncaged bear. Does this really need to be said? So, if you're driving down the highway and see a bear with a sign hitchhiking to Kansas City, resist the urge to pick him up, unless you happen to have a cage in your car. A dog kennel would likely also work. Some say the law dates back to the early 1900s when using animals for entertainment with few or no restrictions was commonplace, and so entertainers would travel with uncaged animals, which could lead to a bear getting loose. But this still seems like more of a statement of common sense than a law. Number two is about the intoxication of elephants. It is illegal in Missouri to provide alcohol or other intoxicants to elephants. Many laws stem from incidents that happen, which then warrant a law to be created. This begs the question of who was getting elephants drunk in a state that sits in a continent where elephants aren't native or even exist outside of zoos or circuses? Well, if you think that this really happened, then you would be correct. This seemingly ridiculous law came about in 1810 when a man held a live elephant show, but the elephant ended up getting drunk on beer. The town went wild and a law had to be codified to keep this from happening again. And number one is about bears again. They are very serious about bear wrestling, or rather not wrestling bears. Missouri seems to have an obsession with bears. Per Missouri Statute 578.176, a person commits the offense of bear wrestling if they promote, conduct, or stage bear wrestling, permits bear wrestling to be done on any premise under their control, or literally wrestle a bear. Anyone accused of such offense could face a Class A misdemeanor. Imagine trying to enforce this law. Many people have questioned this law when it comes to self-defense. If you encounter a bear in the wild and need to defend yourself, are you allowed to wrestle the bear for your own safety? Many Missouri officers say no. Many authorities say that you should avoid contact with a bear at all costs. And I'm pretty sure that's the goal of most people. Some suggest the law is less about protecting bears in the wild and more about the previously mentioned use of animals for entertainment. In any case, do not wrestle a bear in Missouri, especially if the bear was uncaged in your car. Do you know about any wild or insane law in your state? Share it with us in the comments below.